everyone, I'm Ariana Escalante. Welcome to Altair Solar. I'm here with President Khalid El Sheriff. Welcome. Thank you, Ariana. Thank you for having me. So Khalid, today we are going to talk about solar batteries. This is something that has risen to popularity in recent years. Can you tell us exactly what is a solar tide battery? Absolutely. Thank you. That's a very good question. It's in people's mind all the time. Uh, so a solar um, basically tied uh, battery system is a system that allows you to store the excess energy that's produced uh, from the solar panels on top of your roof uh, and basically can be used, can, can this, this energy can be used at a later time and with this results actually in uh, an extra savings. As well as the fact that you can obviously have this energy during an outage or a break, you know, a blackout. So a lot of times uh, during to fires in California especially, uh, uh, we lose power so then you can, you know, connect certain loads to the to the battery and can have them turned on later time as a refrigerator so your food doesn't your food doesn't spoil as well as maybe uh, some certain uh, loads that uh, are critical like uh, people have certain medical conditions it allows them to have that uh, power during an outage. So important. I know for many of us, we've been under the understanding that if we live in California, there's plenty of sunshine, right? There's going to be plenty of solar power directly feeding into our electrical systems. So it's good to know that there are maybe some other things to consider if somebody is looking into batteries. So my next question is, you know, is there a reason that somebody would or would not want a solar battery and can their solar panels work without it? Uh, right, uh, of course, solar, solar systems are designed to work without a battery uh, by nature, but they also need the grid to be on, meaning uh, you have to have your power uh, on all the time for the solar panels to work. So, uh, and that's what a battery system allows us, allows you to actually turn on your solar system uh, when the grid is out. So, but in, in to answer the question, the solar, uh, you know, the, the solar systems are actually designed to work without a battery. The reason, the reason you need a battery, as I, as I mentioned earlier, is that will result in ex actual extra savings, as we talked about and discussed in our NEM uh, episode. Uh, the time of use rates will affect your solar savings, so a battery can, can help offset some of those extra costs, as well as the fact, obviously, the, the, the convenience of having the power mm -hmm. uh, when, when there's an outage. And, and if you uh, recall last year, there was uh, massive power uh, outages in Texas, and a lot of people uh, stayed for almost a whole week without uh, without power, and that caused a lot of problems, obviously, for people. So uh, the only uh, you know house in the block that had light, you know, had basically the chambers lining up to kind of let's borrow some some energy. So you know, it's a great advantage. Hopefully, nothing like that happens in California. But if it does, that's what a battery system will allow you to to have. And when it's installed, where does it go and about how much space does someone need? Uh, that's a very good question. So the recommendations we make is we want it to be uh, away from direct sunlight. So either inside uh, the garage or outside in an area where there's not direct sunlight because that prolongs the life of the battery and also prevents uh, any components from failing. Mm -hmm. uh, so the space uh, depends on the different battery systems out there, but uh, typically it's not a big space. I would say maybe uh, uh, like a four feet by two feet, kind of like this is the, the, the in-phase battery system that we installed. This is the dimensions for it. So it's not really, uh, you know, a big space requirement, but uh, you have to uh, kind of like plan for it to make sure that it's in a good spot where nothing's going to hit it. Mm -hmm. And again, like I, like I mentioned, it's, uh, it's got to be away from direct sun. Sure. So, so it's yeah. almost like you want to choose the place with the most sunlight to w put your solar panels and the place with the least amount of sunlight to put your battery. Uh, absolutely. You're an expert. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you explained it very well. Yes, thank you. Appreciate that. You've been in the solar industry for so long, many years now. Where do you see the future of battery storage going and do you recommend to your customers to invest in this? Right. Um, again, uh, this is, uh, you know, this has been then, uh, it's a good, very good question actually, because there's a lot of technologies out there. There's a lot of companies that, that manufacture battery systems. Uh, our recommendation is to install a, a new technology like a lithium based uh, battery system, mm -hmm. because these systems last for a long time, as well as they're safe, especially the lithium ion phosphate technology. So, uh, you know, those are, those are kind of like, you can think of it as the rechargeable batteries that you can, that you can in your, on your phone, basically that's what you have. It's a lithium based, uh, you know, battery. So uh, versus a regular car battery fuel or an acid gel battery, those are, don't last for a long time. They need maintenance. So we recommend those technologies to be installed as well as a technology that allows you to monitor the system, uh, especially if you have uh, also, uh, you want the solar monitoring and the battery monitoring to be under the same 
application so you can see what's happening and uh, if anything fails in, and uh, you can actually um, figure out what's, what's going on with your house as well mm -hmm. as you can actually uh, control certain loads like you can you know because the battery system has a certain capacity mm -hmm. so you can actually uh, choose which loads you want on at a mm -hmm. certain time so that's great it allows you and this is just like with an app on your phone you can just basically mm -hmm. log into your app and the power is out you can say I want power in this area I don't want power in this area so a lot of a lot of technologies have, have uh, been you know basically getting developed uh, over the years and uh, there's a lot of choices but the recommendation like I said again would be something like a lithium-based technology with uh, uh, a company that can monitor both the uh, product can monitor both uh, uh, the solar production and the battery, uh, mm. you know, uh, performance. Through Altair Solar, you've been in the industry for many years now. So, where do you see the future of battery storage going, and do you recommend your customers to invest in it now? All right, uh, so the future is bright, right? So just like the sun, you know, so, <laughs> but uh, I think uh, solar technology has advanced in the last few years a lot, and now it's turned for, for batteries. So this is gonna drive the price to go down as the economics of scale kick mm -hmm. in. And uh, also the technology has advanced so much that, uh, as I mentioned, people can monitor, uh, you know, the performance on an app, can turn on and off which circuits they want power to. So, and it's gonna continue to advance as the market uh, basically um, has new um, comers into it, you know, so there's mm -hmm. a lot of uh, companies, uh, mostly inverters companies are actually involved in uh, developing battery systems as well as other other companies. So I see the future is bright. I see that almost in the future, I would say every single house that has solar will have a battery coupled system with it, you know, so also, also uh, another main reason for that is the price, like as I mentioned, uh, it, it's gone down a lot. Also, uh, there's a lot of government incentives to, uh, you know, rebates and such to actually allow the faster adaptation because we need to have an energy independence as, uh, you know, our energy needs have been rising uh, in the past, you know, like with computers and all the devices and all, almost every single home right now is power hungry, especially in California, there's a drive to electrify everything. Mm -hmm. So I think this is going to be a must and uh, if the price is right, the technology is right, um, I think every, I see every home with, with a battery system. Well, like you said, the future is bright. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Khalid Al-Sheriff, president of Altair Solar. I'm Ariana Escalante, and if you have any other questions, please let us know, and thanks for watching. Yeah.